Hello everyone, Vegas Vic 1965 and in this uh, episode 6 we are going to be uh, taking a look at uh, a Christmas tree that Eve is working on. I do I do believe we catch up to her in this video. Uh, see a lot of her working on it and uh, we do see the progress of that. We also see Secret Santa. Um, we catch up on, uh, we catch a little bit of uh, Throw Lashes video, see him in there. And um, we, we visit Lucy, we visit Kitty, uh, we hear a little of the twins, uh, the twins, I guess you could call them twins, they're the new arrivals here, Equal and Twee, Twee Twix, <laughs> gotta get the name right, but uh, we catch a little of their stream as well, and uh, we take a look at some beacons, some progress here at the, uh, the base, a whole bunch of stuff, so uh, stay tuned, and I uh, hope you enjoy what you see, thank you for watching, and without further ado, let's find out. I see Eve is over here busy at work on this most awesome Christmas tree. Uh, her and Creeper have been working on this. And uh, I got to say, it's beautiful. It really is really nice. <laughs> I just can't figure out which light to use. Oh, I got a bunch of people up here that have laid some signs. But it does look really, really nice. Getting ready for the holiday season. Christmas is coming for those that celebrate Christmas. I imagine most people do. Uh, but we do have people that celebrate other other types of holidays around here. Hanukkah. And uh, well, there's some that don't. They have their own. But uh, yeah, Eve and Creeper have done a wonderful job on this. This is really nice. I've got, um, let me see, I've got... 5, 10, 15, 20 beacons in so far. I'm going to do, go back and kill 10 more withers and extend it out over there to try and cover most of the shopping district. Um, I'll hopefully come over here and take a look and see how far. I don't think it's going to extend to the boat, so I may end up having to do more. Make them out this way. Putting them every 100 blocks because uh, a beacon's strength will will we'll work for up to 50 blocks in all directions. Unlimited on the height, but uh, for as far as depth goes, it'll only get down to 50. So I've got it set at 50. So in case anybody needs to go all the way down to bedrock, uh, they'll be covered too. I kind of doubt it, but uh, at any rate, this uh, we got four sets in so far. And we'll get some more in that Christmas tree. I can't see it now. There it is. It is really, really coming along nice. Creeper, good job. Eve, good job. And there's the um, the new furnace. Uh, Shadow is selling experience. And I got to tell you, that is an awesome looking pixel art furnace. It really, really is. If I can get a good view of it. <laughs> Shadow, excellent job if you see this. That is an excellent depiction or excellent pixel art of the uh, furnace. Loving that. Ooh, got some ice on fire over here. Special just for Eve at on the grind. Two full stacks of shroom light for two diamonds. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> well, I'm going to let Eve, Eve get back to her work on there. Hopefully, I'll see Creeper up there a little bit later, too. But now i got to get back to uh, getting some more beacons for our, our uh, shopping district. Well, FC and I have opened up a beacon shop and currently setting up some beacons in our spawn district. So I have a long way to go. I've done, uh, I think, 10 beacons so far in the shopping district. I'm going to probably do another another 10 at least. But uh, let's do a wither here. Incoming. Too bad. I think I've got uh, I've got three now. I've got two more to go, and I'll go set up another one, and then I'll uh, come back and do some more. But we do have some 
in the beacon shop for any of our vanilla players that are looking for beacons. I think I put up another 10 yesterday. So uh, let me fill this back in. I like to do old school, a little bit of excitement, not too much. There's some definite safety in here, but uh, I, I kind of like the uh, old school way of doing it. A nice little prize. I want to get the armored one. I got a few of those. Okay, well, we are back, and uh, I've got the other uh, two sets of beacons up and running, and uh, that's, uh, I think, a total of 30 beacons, and we've, uh, uh, Shrunk Zebra and I uh, changed out the lights to be a little more uh, festive for the season. Um, I think, in his words yesterday, it looked like uh, candy canes, and he's, he's about right. <laughs> we got green, um, white, the plain. And a couple of red in there, and it's looking really nice. And that Christmas tree is finally finished up by Eve. I think they had mentioned that uh, they thought uh, dropping off Secret Santa at uh, individual bases might work. I thought the tree might be even better. But, uh, I mean, sticking a, a chest under the tree with a name on it, I think that would be pretty nice. At least the tree would be decorated with presents. So, we'll see. But I am here to do this secret Santa thing that I haven't had a chance to do just yet. Okay, we are here to do the secret Santa. Uh, I told Eve that uh, I wanted to be a part of this, uh, I think a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> I'm still under quarantine. I am getting better every day. Uh, luckily, I didn't have any major problems with breathing. So thank heavens for that. But uh, I'm getting better. I wanted to put something out. So let's see what we got here. Happy holidays. It's the season to be Jolly Newt, so participate in the Secret Santa game. All you have to do is press the button and you will get a piece of paper with someone's name. Make sure not to tell anyone who it is. During the month of December, you will need to leave them a Christmas gift at their base. Make sure to leave a note that is from Secret Santa. Do not include your name. We all have been very good this year, so no pranks or cold. If you haven't signed up for the uh, game, let Eve know, and I will include your name. Happy holidays, everyone. Awesome. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure I told Eve that uh, I would be a part of it, so let's step up here, and I'm not going to say who I got. Okay, so I did edit that out, so you may see a jump right there, and that's because we do have it, but I'm not supposed to tell anybody who I have. Anyway, a little more work in the editing room. Uh, I know Throwlash is doing something. I'll see if I can't uh, find him, see what he's up to during his stream. Rocket, if I do the whole swoopy whoopy doopy. <laughs> Absolutely. What's just, up, Keller? How are you? Just swooped in and Throwlash doesn't even know I was there. If I was, if I played the tag game, he would have been it. <laughs> Thank you for uh, allowing me to down the rest of my coffee. <laughs> Notice how I strategically place the quench it at 150. So what that does for me is anybody who follows for the first time can just slam me with two quench it's so I can We're stalking right? through a lash. Meow, meow. Uh one day we'll have to make this place look a little more presentable. Um, cuz it's a cute little I, I think um Oxablock made this in like the first week. <laughs> we like, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Vic. <laughs> oh, I am. I am streaming today. Hi, Vic. <laughs> I don't know if he's on stream, but um, you would have totally been it well, if I was. Um, are you inferring a lack of hair, Briscoe? Briscoe's hair is, is <laughs> visible. It's just um. The Relash and I are doing a uh, tree farm. I know, right? I didn't even notice anybody was here, dude. Um, I don't know if Vic is on the stream. I'm just talking <laughs> to you guys, and it could be nothing going on. Um, I am in stream. Okay, cool. Uh, so I might have... I'll get back to that, Taylor. Just give me one second. Um, I might have accidentally broken something over at the tree farm, but the oak is working? But I'm... I don't... I don't know what happened. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna walk away this way. Uh, <laughs> I haven't tried any of the other trees yet since I did oak. Um, I did make sure to switch the switch. I was back at you. Oh my gosh, I am so oblivious. Um, <laughs> yeah, I did make sure to switch to the oak switch. So, I don't know. Vegas Vic is a jump scare, right? Who needs to pay creeper bits when you can just 
That's right. <laughs> it is. The museum, how is it coming along? It, it hasn't yet. Um, I need to get a hold of um, uh, the people who... Oh, is he off? Oh, and I stole a uh, sticky piston from the thingy. Oh, some blitz. Hey, Oxy Oxyblock. What's up? We were just talking about this quaint little store. It's great. It's great. I might do some additions slash upgrades to it if that's cool. I don't know if you guys can hear this. Uh, throw okay, nice stream in the background. But yeah, this, this used to be, it was Tellers, and now it's going to be a museum. Um, but uh, it's, it's looking really nice. <clears throat> it's all yours, bud. Hey, it's got your name on it. I think literally, no, no, I changed it to me. I got to change it to Vix, too. Um, <laughs> I should have put those apples in. Now but, I believe uh, it. Yeah, I was yep. talking to Teller about the museum. Gosh, I am all over the place today. The Tellerverse Let's Museum. <laughs> Let's be honest. All right. So I do want to change uh, the location of this, but I need to get a hold of these people. So Lucy Teller, Jeep, and Blends, and just see if it's all right if I take this and move it over to the museum. Um, Ooh, does this make it to the museum? Because it should. It yeah, it's very nice in here. Teller, you did a wonderful, wonderful nice. job if you see this video. I love this place. The big old tea and everything. Yeah, I've got... Uh... It's massive. Oh, here. <laughs> it should uh, actually light up some fireworks. Oh, there's Vic. Hey, buddy. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think on this ground floor here, we're going to put the egg... Oh, decoration? Cool. I think I'm going to change it so it lights off fireworks every time somebody walks in. I'll go ahead and stop this now because you may hear him, may not, but uh, it's looking really nice here. I'm just popping in on Lucy. She said she was using my tutorial on the uh, the honey farm. This is pretty nice. <clears throat> she got it all set up here. <laughs> I hope she doesn't mind if I pop in on her. Hey, Lucy. Oh, yeah, it's definitely working. Yeah, and that design is actually not mine. It's uh, G Craft, but he actually got that design from someone else. Uh, but it's a great design. It, his method is tileable. <clears throat> I had done one, but it wasn't, and I switched over to this one here because mine was a little more cumbersome. But it was pretty much the same thing as getting the signal strength uh, off the back here. Oh, she goofed on the shears one. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> well, thank you, Lucy. If you see this, I feel really good about that. Thank you very much. Let's see what she did here. Oh, she accidentally chopped into it. Let me see. Maybe we can help her here. She's got all this done correctly. Go down. Actually, this should go up one. Oh, I see. Let's see if she'll let me help. One, two, that goes down one. This here should go up. Yeah, she doesn't need this. And that should do it right there. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, that should do it. Let me see, she's got the shears in there. Yeah, she's good. 
bees haven't gone in and out just yet. Yeah, we got the correct signal strength of five, so we're good there. Nice. Oh, the bees abandoned it. Oh, they'll come back. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, Kitty's here too. Whenever I uh, see Kitty or, or Lucy, with Lucy, I think that she is tunneling because Lucy is, she does a lot of tunneling and I mean a ton of tunneling. And uh, whenever I think of Kitty, I think of horses. So I, I'm guessing she's probably riding the horses. I got to hop on, uh, looks like Twix, uh, is it Twixie and Equal? They are, uh, oh, they found some. They're doing their streaming right now, so I'm going to pop over there and watch a little of their stream. Now, Kitty's place is over this way. You may hear the girls streaming in the background. Here's that tunnel. And this is Kitty's place over here. Hope she doesn't want me popping in. For doing this so early in the game. Kitty has a nice place here. I remember watching a video where Cat and Creeper Box came over and snuck up on her while she was fishing. <laughs> she was just at my place mending up her gear. There she is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Kitty knows I'm here. But yeah, I think that might be in the end of our tunnel. So how did you wanna did you wanna branch off this one or just go deep further in? Oh maybe she's making a dock. Another one. You make sure you're at level fifty. Oh, level 50. oh nice. Some red leather armor. Well, this, this one for the horse. Lava, so I'm not liking the look of some of these blocks. <laughs> Oh, or maybe she's doing a beacon. Go on, you carry on. <laughs> Katie still doesn't no, see me. Do, well, I don't want to have to do F3 and then, like, it's not very interesting on stream to just sit there reading a whole bunch of debugging text. Okay. At least that's my excuse, and I'm sticking with it. <laughs> don't put the lava in the long bit. Alright, swing over, see how she's doing. She's got a nice view of this, the ocean, the water here. I love it. This is really nice. I've got a section in the back that I'm probably going to do a little bit of work on. I think I'm probably going to add in some, uh, probably a, a conduit down below and do a little water, water scene. This is really nice. Looking beautiful, Kitty. Really looking nice. And equal play blew themselves up again. <laughs> well, I thought I'd show a little bit of what I'm doing over here. Uh, if you've seen my past videos, you may have seen these already. That's the uh, the dual iron farm, and uh, that's the zombified piglin farm. Uh, this is my most recent addition. Uh, it's like a giant honeycomb. Um, <laughs> there's like tons. I think I went a little overboard on the uh, the honey farm. But on the, the left side are the honeycomb and on the right side are the uh, honey bottles. We'll drop down and take a look. And I kind of use a lot of the, uh, the honeycomb itself to surround it. I kind of give it like the, the inside the hive kind of feel. I'm probably going to do more. The biggest problem I have is I'm trying to turn this all into a bee theme. So I want to see how I can bleed all this out into uh, the rest of my uh, the area here. We'll see how it's going to work. Doing pretty good on honey bottles. I think there's like 42. 21 on the left uh, for the honey bottles. And 21 on the right for the uh, honey cone. And we're doing pretty good. Got to stay on top of it. It's a lot more work than I thought I was going to be just collecting. <laughs> I 
I may or may not have shown this before with the uh, the zombified piglin farm. Uh, some of the guys have been over to use this to uh, repair their tools. Uh, they'll start popping out, and uh, this is the manual part of it, and that's the uh, auto. But I did the same thing I did last season, and that was to set up an area down here uh, full of clerics, and of course I zombified them. I think I zombified these guys about five times to get the uh, rotten flesh down to the price of seven. And uh, it, it generates tons and tons of emeralds just by selling it off to these guys. And of course the gold itself does, uh, I do pretty good on gold as well. Okay, well I started blending in uh, a lot of the, uh, the bee theme into the, uh, the build I have here. As you can see, I've replaced a number of blocks. Uh, with the honey blocks and I'll do more as time goes by but in the uh, the interim I, I started doing some bleeding as well back over here by the uh, I guess the honey honey nest uh, bee nest beehive so to speak and uh, I think it's turning out rather well not really that good at trying to blend things in like this but it seems to have turned out okay I, I kind of hope so I took the uh, little waterway we had over here before, and uh, as you can see, and if you didn't know this, you, you can't get back out, but uh, I've got a spot over here I can get out. Where it used to be a little pond, and now the, the, the honey is kind of taken over. I really wish they had the, the color, we could use some sort of colored water. I think that would it would look really nice. Uh, for something like this, I could, I could have some waterfall of honey, but it's always going to look blue. But at any rate, this is the, the blending that, uh, if I guess you could say that the bees are kind of taking over the build. Uh, I think it's, uh, kind of, kind of turning out pretty nice. And, uh, overall, uh, little by little, this, this place will start to change. And, uh, I wanted to uh, I think this is episode six, if I'm not mistaken, but uh, I want to thank you all very much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this episode on uh, AP Vanilla season two, episode number six. And until next week's video, thank you very much for watching guys. And I shall see you then. Goodbye.